Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Bulk Mail Calling Webinar, Track and Trace Solutions for Transportation and Logistics. Today's webinar is sponsored by Extend Data, Intermec by Honeywell, and ScanSource. And today's presenters are Mr. Steve Sager, CEO and President of Extend Data, and then we're going to have Mr. Gary Halverson, Transportation Manager at Glambia Foods. And then, of course, there's me, the Marketing Manager for Extend Data, and today's moderator. Thank you very much, Georgia. It's great to be on the call. Just an overwhelming amount of participation here from the industry. It's very exciting to see. So in terms of describing Extend Data, we have a very specific value proposition in the marketplace. We're an enterprise mobility solutions provider, but more narrowly defined, what we do is we help our customers track their assets, their inventory, people, and business transactions at critical points in the supply chain. And of course, our success is measured based on our customers' gains in productivity, revenue, and profitability. If you look at the supply chain of where we operate and where our mobile solutions are being used, it is a very specific segment from manufacturing through transportation and logistics through the distribution operation, warehousing, if you will, and back onto uh, the transportation function for ultimate delivery uh, to end customers. And that really is our supply chain. Uh, our solutions are pro helping our customers track uh, assets, people, and inventory at critical points along this uh, supply chain. And um, our solution today is going to feature what we have done with Glambia Foods, specifically in the segment of hauling milk from the producers or the farms to the processing facilities. We've been recognized in the industry uh, from a number of different uh, sources and industry affiliations. The last three years running, Food Logistics Magazine has recognized us as a leader in innovation for our application of technology in the distribution function. Recently in November last year, we received a prestigious award at the International Dairy Foods Association as uh, recognized by, uh, for innovation in food safety. And this really was a result of our solutions that allow our customers to track uh, milk uh, from the farm all the way out to the store shelves. And our solution at Extend Data is perhaps the only in, in, in the industry that provides that kind of comprehensive coverage. Some of our other industry affiliations include the International uh, Food Distributors Association and, of course, uh, the International Milk Haulers Association. Some of our select customers uh, that we have highlighted here are from a variety of different industries, again, all receiving the value proposition from Extend Data of helping them track things in their supply chain. And all of them providing input into our products and our services uh, that allow us to be part of these business critical applications. Okay, so a little bit more on what is Mobile Conductor. I'll uh, give it uh, a little bit of an overview and the perspective of what we're doing uh, from a milk hauler's perspective. And um, mobile conductor means different things depending on where you sit in the supply chain. For a hauler, it may, it may mean automated capturing of information on a handheld computer that's used by a driver as it pertains to um, inspecting seals, doing the proper washes for their, um, for their vehicles, uh, collecting DVIR, uh, DOT-related information, prior to their trips and post-trip. And also, the proper scheduling, receiving schedules from dispatch, and being able to uh, understand where they are on a particular pickup or delivery route, uh, that is what it means to a hauler. For a producer, um, what is happening at the farm, or at the barn, uh, excuse me. But anyways, back to the graph. If you're a producer, um, what's happening there at the barn is that Inspections are occurring, measurements are being taken, location and mileage are being recorded. All of the information that would otherwise be accomplished or collected manually and uh, updated on a manifest is now happening in an automated fashion. So there's very little manual data entry, uh, but all of the measurements and the weights and the temperatures and samples and information regarding uh, that pickup at the producer location is now being automated on a mobile device. And then from a processing perspective, that information can be sent 
uh, through the carrier networks or in real time uh, to the processing facilities so that they can begin to anticipate the loads that are coming into those facilities. And Gary, I'm sure, Gary Halverson from Glambia will be talking a little bit about you know, how they were able to achieve that. And then from a customer perspective, there is just a wealth of information in our repository as all of this data is being collected. This data can now be consumed by uh, the producers, by customers, by the processing facilities. Uh, everything is being stored. Uh, it can be stored in the cloud on a web application that now uh, can be published to all kinds of different consumers that need to see that data. So that's a little bit about uh, how the data flows and the data that we capture depending on who you are in the supply chain. Very simply, a quick overview on Mobile Conductor from an architectural perspective. There's a server component, again, which I had referred to as something that can live in the cloud or it can be installed on premise. And that server is responsible for integration with back office systems. That server can also manage and administer the entire mobile deployment of uh, drivers who are using this uh, application. And then, of course, it is a repository for all kinds of web um, access information on business intelligence and reporting and, uh, and information that can be used um, by a number of different uh, consumers. There's a mobile piece. Uh, the mobile piece runs on a handheld device. Uh, in the past, it's been Windows Mobile. Today we do have an Android offering, and in the future we're looking at iOS. And um, our environment will support a mix of those platforms as well. So uh, we know that in certain circumstances where companies are using independent haulers, those independent haulers need to have choice. And uh, through our architecture and platform, we're allowed to, uh, we do provide that choice. So that is what's happening on the mobile device. So that's where the information is collected. It's where the electronic manifests occur. And then uh, there's the communications piece, which we use um, the wireless carrier networks for communication, uh, getting that information back and forth uh, to our server and synchronizing with uh, back office systems. The last thing here that I wanted to touch on that I think is one of the most exciting things that we are doing, and there was a time in the industry where there was just lots of choice, and there still is lots of choice in terms of the in-cab technology that may be used by a transportation function. And it used to be that um, you would need to make decisions around the onboard computing platform, uh, the, the telematics platform, uh, D or, or uh, DOT regulations would um, would would uh, really drive selection of hours of service and e-log types of applications. There's delivery transaction management applications. There just used to be, uh, and there still is, lots of choice. Uh, and what we've done is we've simplified uh, by uh, these choices uh, from a support perspective, from a use perspective, and from a single sign-on perspective to allow our customers to use one device in the cab of the truck to have a single sign-on uh, for access to these various applications and to do it all from one environment. So our goal has been, and, and this is very exciting for us, to be able to uh, share with you our uh, latest advances in, in, in a single device in the cab of the truck. And uh, anyway, that is a little bit on what is Mobile Conductor. I think, Georgia, that might be my last slide, other than to thank uh, Intermec uh, for, for helping to sponsor this. And then to put in a, a word that uh, Intermec is and has been among the best uh, suppliers of ruggedized devices for these types of applications uh, for mobile computing in the supply chain. With that, I will turn the rest of this uh, case study and, and presentation over to our customer, Gary Halverson at Glambia Foods. I'm Gary Halverson from Glambia Foods. Um, we're the company Glambia. We're headquartered in Twin Falls, Idaho. Um, we have three cheese plants and two whey plants in Idaho, and that's primarily what I deal with. We also have a large cheese plant in New Mexico. Uh, we do have the world's largest barrel manufacturer here in Gooding, Idaho. Uh, here in Idaho, we process um, 13 million pounds of milk per day, and we process another 11 million pounds a day in New Mexico. 
and our transportation department is based uh, in Gooding, Idaho. So to start off, um, I became familiar with Extend Data and Mobile Conductor um, end of 2007, first part of 2008, when we put together a large project to modernize and to increase the efficiencies of our transportation uh, department as a whole. So in 2008, we were doing paper manifests. We had manual data entry for payments to the dairymen. Um, a lot of manual, manual processes, a lot of lack of visibility, lack of reporting. Uh, we would hand enter paper manifests. And so the reporting that we did have, there was a day to two day lag, uh, depending on the time of week. And the, the information was, was slow to get back to us as the transportation department and slow to get back to the producers as well. The, we had no GPS, no inventory control, uh, milk payments, our milk payment system lacked user um, reporting, and it, it wasn't really useful for, for managing a transportation department. Uh, this project, it, it was large, it encompassed many things. Uh, we did fleet standardization, we did intake upgrades, uh, we changed our pumping to hydraulic pumps, um, versus electric pumps. We changed our driver schedule, our driver pay. Uh, we implemented handhelds for electronic manifests um, as well as GPS. So the, the mobile conductor piece of this project, we, we integrated mobile conductor into several, several of our existing systems that we already had on site. We integrated it into our scale system um, so our electronic manifests, when our driver arrives at one of our plants, they get a scale transaction ID from our scale system. When they scan that uh, barcode, it will pull in who the intake operator is, what the receiving temperature was, uh, whether it passed their antibiotic test, and, and it pulls in all that receiving information onto our, onto our manifest, our electronic manifest. We integrated it into our milk payment system. Uh, so instead of doing the paper manifests, having a person hand enter those on a daily basis, uh, the, the information can pull directly over to our milk payments so our producers can get paid uh, directly from those electronic manifests. Uh, we integrated into our driver pay system. Uh, as I said, part of the, the large change we went through was changing how we paid our drivers. We went to uh, base pay plus an incentive. And that incentive is calculated uh, based on the number of miles, the number of stops, and the number of loads the driver does. And all that, that in information needed to, to compute the incentive for our drivers is pulled off these, these electronic manifests. Um, we saw a lot of uh, improved processes. Um, we were able to track through GPS, track our trucks better, uh, track our deliveries better. Uh, this allowed reduced errors in, in the scheduling from the dispatcher side and also um, in the routing from what the driver was able to see. So our, our goal was to, to increase our competitive advantage. Uh, we wanted to be an industry leader. We wanted to make sure that we, we were as efficient as possible with the trucks we had, increasing our stops or number of loads that we could uh, collect on a daily basis as well as the, the pounds we could collect on those loads. So we put in the, the mobile conductor, uh, the bulk milk hauling, and WebTech Wireless, um, which integrated with mobile conductor um, for, for one platform. So the WebTech was the GPS portion of it, and, and so we could pull in the GPS along with the electronic manifest. So we were able to see some great productivity gains through this, this project. Um, we were able to see a 63% increase in the number of loads per day and a 72% increase in the pounds per truck per day. Um, so our industry, it's all about pumping milk and moving milk. So the, the work we were able to do as far as tracking and, and being able to have visibility and reporting um, we were able to do that much more efficiently than we were uh, previously. 
So the, the improved process, we were able to reduce our, our errors. Um, part of, a good part of that came from our trial period where we were transitioning from paper manifests to electronic manifests. Uh, prior to that, we only had the paper, so it was hard to catch the errors. As we went and ran both systems uh, in duplicate, we were able to see where our errors were and where we needed to work to improve those. And little incentive to the drivers, they had to go 30 working days um, without an error before they could stop doing the paper manifest. So there was a lot more attention to detail, and we felt after 30 working days that habit was in place, and we could allow them to stop using the paper manifests. Uh, we gained an ability to react to problems and errors much quicker. Rather than having a, a two-day lag on the information, uh, we have that information quite quickly, and we can, we can see where, if we have any errors, and we can catch that, that very quickly. Um, our person that was doing the data entry, uh, we still have that person on staff. Uh, now they perform more of a quality function to where they're, they're double checking the manifests. Um, they're, they're checking to make sure that our scale system matches up with our, our, what we say we brought in on the electronic manifests. So we, we still have the position, but their job function has changed. And then we've seen a significant uh, decrease in the amount of paper we were using as well. So our overall goal, as I said, was to be to be an industry leader and to be more competitive. Uh, our core competency is making cheese and whey products, and to do that we needed to um, secure a milk source and we needed to make sure we were competitive in the haul rates we were charging our patrons and, and the, our customers. So we we needed to make sure that our transportation department was as efficient and effective as possible so we could keep those costs down for our customers. Um, we're able to get uh, 15 loads per driver more per week. Uh, we have in-depth inventory visibility. Our drivers, when they're out at the dairy, they, can, they mark down uh, what pounds are left on the dairy. So at any time, I can pull up a report that says, when the last truck was out there, here's what milk was left at the dairy. And so we can do our, our planning and our routing uh, based on, on those numbers. Uh, the reporting is much quicker. And the, the overall executives and the, the company as a whole, um, they've, been, they've been very pleased with the, the cost savings that we've been able to provide. So the, the e-manifest, um, the mobile conductor portion of it was, was great in, in allowing us to move from a paper-based system with very little reporting um, and, a, and a lag to a, a real-time system where we had GPS, we had electronic manifests, and we had that ability to find the reporting uh, rather quickly and to, to be more proactive in the way we managed our our fleet and managed our employees uh, versus reacting to information that we might get a couple of days late. Once again, I'd like to thank um, Intermec by Honeywell and Scansource as our sponsors for today's event. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at info at extenddata.com or visit mobileconductor.com for more information. And I think that will conclude our webinar. Thank you to our presenters, Steve and Gary, as well. We really appreciate your time. And we hope all of you have a great day. Thank you, Georgia. Thanks, Gary. And thanks, everyone.